literally I just can't do shit hi everybody <laughs> i'm so bad at this someone asked where you are zach where are you i'm right here just hanging out you're right here <laughs> good uh good yeah i stole zach and i decided to make him come do this with me um not that bad not that bad <laughs> okay You'll see. You'll you'll see how bad it can get. <laughs> um, let's say hi to everybody. Hi, Life is Music Gamer. How you doing? Hi, Randomly Ignored. Oh, I miss you too. Hi, Unfucking Believable. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Mama. How you doing? Um, that's for everybody. Mango says her love. Oh, yay. Um, thank you. Please send my love to Mango as well. Um, right. So, Zach, today we are doing a very long <laughs> playlist of eight videos. And I know it's a lot. I, I get that. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna start. We're gonna... Jason does do his this. first mukbang. Wow. Oh, never mind. It's peanut yeah. butter. He's just eating a whole jar of peanut butter. <laughs> that is exactly what he's going to be doing. I assume. Hey, Zalulu. How you doing? Love you lots. Right, guys. Let's let's get into this. Um, yeah. Well, hey, guys. Hey, What's Jason. Up? Man, it's been... A long time. I hope this thing records okay. I'm not gonna take too much time because this phone is uh wow, it's like freezing as it is. We'll see how this is. I'm just gonna do this fast and uh hopefully it turns out okay. Are you so, making uh, a peanut butter sandwich? Since I've done something like this. This is uh, uh <laughs> Jason Avocado's mukbang. So here you go. I made this for myself. Thank this you, randomly like ignored all food bank stuff pretty much okay um this is a pork sandwich and it's a pork tenderloin that we got from the food bank and uh i put some relish on it they had it they gave us this fantastic tenderloin relish. from the food um, bank Damn, food bank. yeah i'm thinking that on that's and like i toasted up the bread law, on, isn't on it? in the oven uh because we don't have a toaster <laughs> that's not normal and, bread. Uh, that's put, uh, French toast bread. Well, that's like that's that's fancy bread. That's very fancy bread. I don't yeah. know. It may be available know. at the food bank, but I don't think you bought it from the food bank. No, no, I don't know. Like what? That doesn't really make much sense to me. And they so so pork tenderloin seems like it's a lot. And then you got what's Texas toast? What's Texas remember, toast? Do you remember when I was telling you about that really good toast that put in the oven? It's got a little bit of garlic. Oh yes, it's, it's like garlic bread, but it's toast. Yeah, yeah. And it's a big, oh, it's a big loaf. And right. He's got. Well, he kind of looks like he cut it in half. Yeah, he cut two in half. Okay. Yeah, Jason's getting about a year's worth of calories with this one. <laughs> Well, he needs it, okay, because he's looking haggard as fuck. Fuck. Um, okay. Well, let's see what he's going to do. So he's got pork, Texas toast, and relish. It looks, it, like he's the, got, it looks like he has eggs, like an egg on there. Yeah. It does but. kind of look like there's something on the side. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Um, no, you're starting to look like utter shit. And yeah. Um, right, let's see. Uh, beer mustard on it, which I got at Quinn's recently for some sandwiches because we had so, some really wonderful person gave some money for a little food. So I went and got bologna and uh, some Cooper cheese with the cheapest stuff I could find. And I got some beer mustard for two fifty two dollars and fifteen cents, and so that's on there. And uh, the bread is Italian; it's an Italian loaf sliced, um, and I don't remember the brand, 
but the, the, what what this is, it's Where a pork is tenderloin. Where is loaf slice. from? And the way, I'll start eating it. <clears throat> so Fancy, see, uh, just eat white bread. Exactly. Praise Jesus. That crunch actually sounded good. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me get one more bite. <laughs> Is it gross? Mm. Ew. <laughs> People say I'm going to eat like a homeless man. You do eat like a homeless man. I am pretty hungry, so. Okay, so here's how you prepare it. <laughs> Does it look hot? I want to have Reb's pork tenderloin uh, slice sandwich. No, no, I don't. You need pork I'm gonna have this smoothie right slices. here. It's delicious. I don't know how much that runs, but they gave us like nine four packs. It's amazing. Praise Jesus for food banks. Thank you, Christ in heaven. For churches that actually do like church stuff. <clears throat> you take another bite. Mm. So you didn't get your food from a food bank. You got your you food take from your a church donation. Slices. Yeah, that's um, different. You only oh, need one per what? sandwich. So however many sandwiches you're making, get that number of slices of pork tenderloin. Lay them out on either. A, I don't have a baking treat, so I use a, a, a plate covered with aluminum foil. Me neither, randomly ignored. Me neither. But if you have no a baking sugar, sheet, no better. bread. Line up your pieces in the baking sheet and then season them on one side with everything bagel seasoning. <laughs> Please don't Here crash. we go. Everything we go. bagel seasoning. There we go. Coarse oh, salt, like kosher salt crash. or sea salt. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, and for me, I did mine in black. Okay, there's a couple of things going on here. Number one, I'm nervous because my boyfriend's here and I want to look cool. Number two, I have the camera on and it's stressing me out because I'm trying this new thing with the camera, but it's stressing me out. Number three, my second screen has the thing playing. And so I'm like trying to like coordinate my eyes so I don't look like I'm looking off screen. There's lots of things happening right now that you don't know. <laughs> I know I make it look effortless, but it's not. So if it looks like I'm having a little stroke, it's because I am. Okay. Just go. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I needed that. Right, so Shah says, I thought there were no food banks near you, Jason. I thought there were no churches near you handing out food donations. You claimed that, Jason. Very fucking true. He has said that multiple times that he can't, like, he can't do anything um, because there's nothing around. There's no resources. I don't know. Like, Got to be at least a Walmart yeah. where you can take this small donations of money small donations if you're getting four packs of tenderloins yeah well you got I mean, one sandwich out of four packs dang yeah exactly that's what it looks like that's what it looks like black pepper she had i made shanny a patty but she didn't want any of this stuff that i was doing she just wanted the patty basically with uh bagel seasoning on two pieces of bread so that's what she's got Mine, I wanted something a little more elaborate because I didn't eat all day and I wanted to really enjoy it. So I've been really trying to fast, uh, increase my fasting. I do not like it. sauerkraut. I don't know what it is. What else do you do? Like what else it? can you do? I've been pretty calorie to face. You from my land, but I also do not you know, like it. Some. So, enjoyably. <laughs> so. Pardon? You, you season on one side. No, of the I said it may also come from my motherland, but I also do not like it. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Sorry. None at the wedding, please. I'm joking. I'm joking. Seasoning. <laughs> Everything bagel seasoning, uh, coarse 
uh, sea salt or or kosher salt, or even better, pink Him Himalayan sea salt. That's the best because you're adding nutrients with that. Too. Oh yeah, Shani's rich. You got that, you said, but I got sea salt and uh, black oh, pepper. Shit. Your favorite black pepper. Okay. What? How many kinds of sour then crab? Then take your hand, the palm of your hand. There was one, and just press the seasoning into the meat. I think it depends on right. who makes it. Then take your slices. I only had it in Austria. Flip them. I did not like them. I did not like it. Then season that. Do all the same seasoning again. Stop talking with your mouth side. full. So rude. Now for for mine. Mm, don't you just love the audible you smacks? Your mustard, your favorite <laughs> mustard. <probably>. Yeah. <laughs> but mine is this. Badass. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is local. Lager beer. No. Uh, Plotchman Incorporated, M Mateo, Illinois. Phenomenal, and it was on sale for like two dollars and fifteen cents. So I was like, "Yeah, French's was way more." This is phenomenal. Okay, so then you season them same way. Pack the seasoning on the other side too. Then you, you take your beer mustard and a tablespoon. <laughs> plop a thing, a, a tablespoon on all the pieces that you want this on it. The beer mustard. And spread them out on the top of the pat. Good morning, Miss My Your, your, your uh, pork tenderloin patties. Oh, You're man. done. Put them in the oven, 400 degrees, for about 18 minutes, or about about 15 minutes, say. Ready Especially with pork, you want to cook it. Warm. Mm. Yeah, pink Himalayan mm. salt is is basically the same. Fucking salt. good. It is just fancy. Then for the last, say, five minutes of cooking. Yeah. Get your oven. If you got an old school one like me, it's a dial. Put it on high broil. Set it, set your setting to broil and hit high broil or 500 degrees, whatever the highest it goes to. Why? So, you could, so it dries that thing out? Five, 10 minutes. In between there. Yeah. 10 minutes, it might be, you might get some brown. You might, you know, you might have some black meat on the top. I love that. Ew. Uh, do that. You're going to smell it. Fuck the light like spices. <laughs> uh, preferably to have garlic powder and onion powder, but I don't have that. Okay. Maple seasoning is enough, but it would be even better. The messed up, the messed mm -hmm. out version of Betty Crocker's so. <laughs> At the end of your kids. Time, you should have already had your bread slices in the oven. If you're real poor like me and you can't even afford a fucking toaster. Okay. Okay. Toast up your bread. Get it nice and toasty. Um, you could do a little trading yeah, with, uh, I four mind. packs of tender cinder Lord, oh, the pork tender loins. Mm. I could give two packs of those. That's the value of a micro cheap microwave. Cause they're what? Like 18 bucks. For, it's like 18 dollars, like 20 bucks for a microwave. Like a really cheap one. I don't know. I've never bought a microwave. Let me see what Amazon said. Do so you think they would just do it in, they would do that in a microwave? Wouldn't it be gross? Isn't it better to do it in an oven? The toast? Yeah, and the meat. The No, yeah, well, the meat you would you would use in the oven, the toast you could throw in. But since he has, since he's using that, like, fancy toast... It's not made mm. for. It's not made for like a toaster, or maybe. No, because the slices are too thick. Thick. Yeah, I like we. I know I have an older toaster, and it's like super like skinny in the inside. Mm. It's only meant for the 
single slice of regular yeah. white bread or wheat or whatever you choose to use. But those bread, though, that use. that thick, you would the I, I would throw those in the oven. Yeah. Hell, he's com he's complaining about not having money to afford a microwave, but you had the money to afford an oven. It's like three times as expensive. Yeah, but I think that the oven came with the house. I mean, I think some things came with the house, but that's true. I don't know. Are they living in a new place? No, I think they're still living in the same place. Um, I think they're still living in that same right? place. Yes, yeah. That he sold to Riv for a dollar. And uh, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> uh life as a music gamer says um and whose fault is it you don't have a toaster rev then get a job right so true. <laughs> so true. um i don't know who steve 1989 mre info is i don't know who that is but Riv, like and <laughs> Riv and Cobes do eat like shit. They do. Um, dude, you could go to Salvation Army and pick up a microwave or toaster for like $5. Again, I say, you're useless, Riv. Um, oh, thanks, Sam. That's such a nice thing to say. I dressed up. And everything. No, I'm kidding. I did have a shower though. Um, right, let's finish this. Move on. You line up your plates or whatever with your buy piece drugs. Of bread for a sandwich. And you start to assemble. You just put your, your patty on your bread and put on the top the top slice of bread, you put a nice slap. I like to take a fork. You could fork it or you could tablespoon <laughs> it, take a tablespoon and slap it. Bro, are you really teaching us how to fucking make a sandwich? I guess this is what this all has been about. Uh, you just he's, assume he's wrong, that we. Sorry. No, he's, he, he's just telling us how to make a sandwich like we've never made a sandwich before. And he's really, he's really convicted. And yeah, he's telling his son how to make the sandwich properly. Yeah, he's like, don't fuck it up. Even don't though, you dare why, do why, the wrong thing. Why in the heck would you grab a fork to spread out when you could just grab a exactly. butter knife that's an inch away? <laughs> exactly. Why would you use a fork? That's so counterintuitive. <laughs> hey, chicken squibs, how you doing? But Sam, he did something like a child. He needs reassuring every time he adults. Yes. Yes. Yes, that is very true. I mean, his skill is still a skill. <laughs> For age olds. <laughs> yeah, this is not exactly the target audience. But um, you know what, Riff? You did something today. Proud. A tablespoon on the top piece of your bread of relish and spread that shit and you got a toasty sandwich relish it's almost like having a bratwurst the flavor is bratwursty no, and should. you really want to fulfill that that's okay you have some sauerkraut which is usually pretty cheap in a can take some sauerkraut tablespoon it throw that on there too that'd be even better Sauerkraut would be good on this. I wish there was a little bit more sweetness. I'd probably, I don't know. Mm. Those pork tenderloin pieces are really good, though. He's really oh, enjoying that last half of that sandwich. First half is gone okay. in a minute. This one's sweet. Frozen Wegmans. I hate that. Uh, pork loin. It's not a pork loin. It slices, though. Four slices per package. It's awesome, man. And they're so good. 
You okay. throw them in the oven, man. And then if you have pasta or something, you want some pork pasta, you, sl- you cook, cook, you just broil them, man. You can broil the shit out of them. Put them on 500 degrees and just broil the fuck out of them. And, <laughs> he heard Danny coming, like, so he ate like faster. Black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any meat black like that. Like he, he keeps looking to his right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Shane's something's coming. I can get a fucking price something's drop. Something, I guess. I don't know. Exactly, he's storing that up. Steak is really good, though. Guarantee that soda, not water in that cup. If you broil it in the yeah. oven with butter, you take like you take like two tablespoons <laughs> of butter or so, and he put looks it on like the top a dead cam survivor. That's fucking insane. And then you put you fucking crank the oven. And, mm-hmm. and and just cook that bastard. And well, let's man, start thinking about myself in my bathing suit. I might also cook. look like Holy a survivor. Shit. Anyway, I didn't say that. This you, is Jason Avocados. You've got a beautiful body. Dr. Pepper Zero in a Yoshi didn't cup. Say that. And you might see me on Yoshi soon. I don't know about Shani, but I'm not sure. But you might see me on Yoshi soon. Oh, okay. That was a good sandwich. Praise Jesus. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay, I'm wrong. This one. It probably did. Shani explains why she's been ignoring the donors. She, she always ignores your donors. Anytime you get money, thank you. Move on. <laughs> End of video. All right, give me two seconds, guys. There. Right. So, hi everyone. I want to. I want to start this, and I just. I want. Sorry, I, I want to apologize to someone because um. They 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 blessed us, and we were just very tired yesterday. We pretty much slept all of the. It is the bed scrub. Even in a way, we like fell asleep like five thirty, and didn't wake up until like thirty minutes ago. Um, y'all, why do, well, why do y'all have a back sleep schedule? You stay up in the moonlight we, playing yeah, games. Slept that long, but we did. Why? Um, but. Why do you catch up on sleep? What do you do? The point is, is like I just want to say I'm sorry if if they felt like broken we blanket sheep dress. We weren't. We were just. No, we were literally sleeping. Uh-huh. I was in my dreamscape. He was in his dreamscape. Yeah. You didn't have the dream. Uh, oh, we wound up that randomly well, ignored Eddie for and just I'm, we'll I'm go straight to for the last cough syrup ear and that's. My parents are moving. Love thank you so job. much, young at heart. And I'm helping um, them move. And uh, thank you so much for dropping in. And, and yay. And thank you for supporting me as usual. It. You're amazing. Um, as my yeah, house so. is going to blow away. There's so much wind right now. And then I'm always seeking oh, out. it's still windy? In this dream, yeah. Which is weird. I've heard his bike just know, flew out the window. In my past, I... To the window, to the there, wall. In my dream... To the... No. Um. I don't know. I don't even know what to do now. My curtains are from outside. <laughs> About us smoking cigarettes, and let me just point out, my husband has a tendency of going to the neighbors and getting cigarettes from them. So they love him here. It's just oh my gosh, that would be the total. I'd love yeah, having a neighbor you're, like that. You're, you're just, just come on over, have some of my cigarettes. Are you joking? Exactly. No, but I'm not listening. Get the heck out of here. Mm-hmm. See, he he's he's really sexy today. What are you talking about? Look at it. Look at his sexiness. Uh, Sugar no. muscle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, no. baby. Think- oh wow. Oh. I know, man. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should start showing your six pack soon. No, 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 no. I'm working. You both should start showering. I'm working on that. <laughs> that should be what you should both do. He's getting to be sexy, man. Super sexy, man. Super uber sexy, man. Uh, mock, I'm, mock, I'm, man. When I'm fully there, I'll probably look like Kevin Bacon. Did you guys probably watch Kevin that video? Kevin it Bacon might even be coming up. Maybe like Kevin Bacon. Um, did you watch that video when she was like, um, only manly men, no, manly men don't wear makeup. Like, if you want to be a manly man, it's, just, it's not when you wear makeup. I was like, excuse me? It's fucking insane. How could you say that? Anyway, I was very cross. Zach was there. We were both very cross. <laughs> that again? The the manly makeup thing, the where she was like, you can't wear makeup and be a manly man. It's uh, not true. Yeah. I mean, exactly. What if, uh, what if you have a daughter that and is curious about how makeup works, and she's not, mom's not, a, not, mom's not gonna let her face, who already has makeup already on it, so dad's gonna volunteer his face to put to let his daughter yeah. you know, practice or whatever. Yeah, or like tribal makeup, or you know, it's tribal fucking tattoos. a real thing. Yeah, exactly. It was just stupid, and well, I was just cross. All tattoos are is a permanent form of makeup. Exactly. 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 And she has put makeup on Rev. So what? Now Now he's the manly man? No, man. Um, only manly men wear goth mascara to a fancy steakhouse. Exactly. Fuck those stereotypes. She's so rude. Bacon and his wife, and we get a farm, and we just start singing folky songs together. You want to? That'd be sweet. I, I, I need to learn guitar. Guitar? I'm good at Guitar Hero, but I don't know guitar. I got to learn guitar. What do I learn? Well, she's just cute and sings with them. That's true. <laughs> I don't want to hear either Barker. you play or yeah, Shani sing. Not at all. You want food? Wait, I have to show the people the Gavins. Oh, yes. yes. Come here, Gavins. You have to be shown to the people, and then we'll get to your food. Whoa. There. There's the Gavin boy. Yeah. He's like, I need my I hate food. The those cats. I hate it. <laughs> It's like the one thing in life that brings me so much belly. He got a big giant sadness. He got a big jelly and belly. Rage. He's like, I need my food. I need my food. Give me my food. You could raise chickens and start cannon. Yes. I want, I want. Like, my dream farm is chickens, cows. Goats, Please don't let this woman have any animals. And then Please. my kitty sanctuary, where I take care of kitties. And then... Uh, <laughs> I then want, get up. Do your thing. Um, also, like, a shed thing where I can raise guinea pigs. You don't need a shed for guinea pigs. They're in standing enclosures. Because I, yeah. I love guinea pigs, and I, I I have to keep them separate from the cats. Yeah, exactly. You have to walk for all of those. use them for food. What a, what a, Plus, it costs yeah, money to actually buy chickens or guinea pigs. Yeah, money, yeah. Clothes. It costs a lot of money that to really do nice all of this. Really soft wool, and I can... Make yarn with sex exactly, wool. exactly. Um, oh, now you're gonna have time to make yarn. You're joking. Baby, she did kill her guinea pigs. Any, any other animals we want than goats and chickens and and cows? How about to get a job first? Uh, I don't know. Hmm? 
And then our cat sanctuary. Oh, um, that's yeah. never on the table. And then our guinea, guinea pet. <laughs> yeah. No, don't happen. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a couple of lizards, you know. Lizards. lizards like me. Yeah, because you smell like <laughs> the earth. I want pigs so bad. My husband isn't sure. Piggies. They're so cute and sweet. I love the piggies. Yeah, how did, does she intend to pay for all of this? Miniature. Because all of these things now cost I know, money. I know the one I was forgetting about. Thank you, Michelle. Miniature horses, but it's not a horse. It's a shitling pony. Donkey. I want donkeys. Because donkeys, they have such... I, like, what I love about donkeys is they just have such a good sense of humor. And they're always trying to make you laugh. And I just, I love that part about donkeys. And Jesus Rose. Cute, trying to make you I, I like love that them. for you. Uh, Why not? I like, everyone that. looks at the sea, but they don't somewhere. look at the donkey. And donkeys are adorable. Yeah, they are. I do I like a donkey. chickens and two ducks. They all give me so many eggs. Ooh. Yes. I love that. We could get ducks. That's the life. Isn't it? If you're on a farm, you're doing good. I could see Gavin surrounded. There we go, Sal. The There's no way. The chickens and All these animals require attention. With them, definitely. To some degree, I don't. I don't even know. Music game. I do not know. I don't even think she's thought about it. This is for her, like a pipe no, dream, like the pink house. No it's just Why something like she wants to talk about. I want a fainting goat too. Oh, those are so. Well, 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 That's what they sound like. Sorry, the, uh, the things of it today. Arguing with the goat. Yeah, I would. I'd get in his face. Hey, what, 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 what? <laughs> Man. Yeah. Neither one of you should be allowed around animals. Let's play, and then they bond over metal music. Yeah, yeah. Just death goat. metal. Baby goat. <laughs> the head banging baby goats. That's so cute. <laughs> we have our dreams. We do. And they come in and buck you in the butt. Yes. yes they do. Here, motherfucker. You How you doing, that. man? Take that. Bro. <laughs> goats are cool. I love goats. I think they're great. They're very cool. I like animals who have a lot of personality to them. They have a bad rap as evil. They do. It's so stupid, though. But so do pit bulls. Yeah. Pitties are the greatest babies in the entire world, man. They'll just sleep with you and rest with you and love you and take care of you. I get that. <laughs> no animal is Right. I'm going to tell you a story about no, my pit bull because I no. have a pit bull They're at no. home where my dad lives. Now, <clears throat> this pit bull was bought by me as a puppy and grew up completely non-violent, was never like aggressive towards other dogs, grew up around other dogs, then moved to a farm, the farm that my dad lives on now, and was given love, attention, never ever meant to be aggressive, but she is still a pit bull. So her inherent, like, when she wants to go for a dog or when she feels like she needs to defend herself or when she finds, like, with the... Because often the dogs will take on uh, slower, older dogs. They're like a pack. They're, they're like a pack of wild dogs. So they... And she will go for them and she is very... Pit bull tendencies towards aggression. I'm not saying all pit bulls are like this. I'm not saying your pit bull is like this. I'm just saying, speaking from experience, they there is something ingrained in a pit bull that will influence behavior. 
I'm I'm definitely not saying that, that that's a bad thing or that's a good thing. I'm just saying they have a fight mechanism. It's like a little button. And when they have to fight, they will fight. But they fight in a, like, the shaking of the head to dislocate the neck. Um, they fight like that. And that's not often something you teach. It's something that's, in, like, ingrained in them. So this may be controversial. I think pit bulls are beautiful. And I love them. I would, I'd have a thousand of them if I could. But to just say that they're big babies all their lives is a bit like, I'd say it doesn't really work for me. But that's just me. Well, I don't know. Any dog has the capability. But pit bulls themselves, yeah. they have they have the natural instinct to whip, which most dogs don't, which yeah. is well, it's fun to play with them when they want to play, but mm. if they're angry and they don't want to play, you're not having a good time. No. No. But I also think that people that put pit bulls into these um fighting things where they fight each other i mean i had an ex-boyfriend that used to do that and i thought it was sick i thought it was absolutely the most disgusting thing i've ever heard and they turn these animals into absolute monsters that can never have a normal life mm -hmm. um and it's it's fucking devastating it's devastating but it is within the nature of the pit bull to be, to tend towards aggression. Like, you don't take, uh, I'm sure with enough training, you could get like a golden retriever to be aggressive, but, well, that aggressive. But I think it like, it's just, I don't know. I just don't think, I think they're dogs that you have to go and start owning at a time, knowing full well that it's not going to be like a golden retriever. You know? No, you know, when owning one, uh, treat it right. Because if not, it will not treat you right. Mm. It will make sure of it. Yeah, exactly, Shaw. You would, you would struggle to get a golden retriever to be aggressive. Um, and that's why they don't make good fighting dogs because they just don't have that instinct. But pit bulls, you can raise to be aggressive. Um, exactly, Sal. That's also true. They are they are bred with a different physicality. I mean, m my pit bull is just muscle. Like the whole thing, her whole body is muscle, and. It's just the way it is. We haven't we haven't put her through any athletic shit or whatever, but she just has developed into a very muscly dog. And yeah, but okay. So what I'm saying in the grand scheme of things, and why I'm having this conversation, is because when Shani talks about it and says they're big babies, understand that a lot has gone into that to make them big babies so they're only like they're only going to be big babies around some people that they trust and for a person like shani they would never feel because pit bulls also really receptive to emotions and like they would just never ever be stable the dogs no dog would ever be stable for shani the cats are lucky they don't give a fuck anyway that's my rant over fucking three hours later. Um, but yeah. Made evil if they're evil. <clears throat> yeah. Correct. Most most animals just want love. Yeah. And togetherness and foods. And foods. Yeah. Love and food. Until they eat a toddler. Well, I don't have any toddlers. I don't have to worry about that. Eat a toddler. That happens, huh? Is that an animal eats a toddler? I don't think that happens very often. Not very often. Did you hear about the sharks off the coast? 
hopped up on cocaine. Oh my God. Coked up charts. What? I, well, the Dane drug cartels were dumping the coke off the boat so they oh wouldn't get in trouble God. with National Guard. So the sharks were swimming around and like, hey, what's this shit? Um, Wait, that smells. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> Into the package and just getting high off their butts off. Freaking. That's insane. Does she know how dangerous that is? <laughs> Forward thinking with Shani? No. Forward thinking with Shani. Does she know how absolutely, unbelievably dangerous that is? They could have killed all of those sharks. Like, and it's like, there's just, ah, uh, ha, ha, that's so funny. Sharks were high. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. No, no. Like, she doesn't give one single fuck that those sharks could all have died. And they could have. My curtain. And they could have. They could have all died. There's no way a shark is has the filtering system to get rid of that safely. There's no way. No, it's just fucking crazy. She's fucking crazy. Okay. <laughs> How am I doing today? I don't know. It just it just began. I I have to get back. I to agree. So to when I listened to this, I was like, mm, it's like like a movie, and then I watched. That's for sure. Um, we get full. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this actually happened. The way she's telling it is it did. I think they've watched a movie because I watched that same movie, and it was like the sharks ended up eating some of the cocaine and became like. Ninja sharks. Um, <laughs> but, me, DJ. um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the sharks would go and bite into it. I don't know, but either way, that shit is disgusting to laugh about. Bite me, TJ. It's not a fake account. This is what my face looks like. I'm trying a new thing. But you can't you can't flirt with me this time because Zach's here and he's literally in the stream, so he'll smack you. Um, cocaine bear, yeah, I won't watch that shit. That shit for me is horrific. Giving an animal a, a substance cocaine like squirrel. cocaine, it would kill them. Even a bear. <laughs> oh, bite me, TJ. You, you'll get over it. In well, drink. Yeah, Which I thank you them for that. Yeah. Thank you. That was nice. Like very nice. Uh, no, and, and apparently according to them, stuff, though, at least. um that was it nice. was a shock, but it's the same concept yeah, of cooking. Very good sandwich. Hey Gibby, yeah. Yeah, he got like the same sharp super cheddar thing. Well, I don't know. I'm trying anything. If I hate it, I hate it. I don't hate it. And but... he got on sale this uh Italian yeah. bread. How much is Italian? How much is that bread now? I'm just trying like, now. You know, not the Italian bread, artisan bread, the Italian yeah, loaf. Loaf bread. Yeah, yeah slice of Italian <laughs> bread. Yeah. I know I do. It's not really Italian. My voice. Buy one, get one free, but I think it was like, it's probably five a cross a face. loaf. Are you serious? But it was buy one, get one free. So it was like, so probably two. A normal price for a loaf of bread which is like 230 it used to be 99 cents for a what if uh, are we watching at normal cents. speed back in the day 79 cents yeah <laughs> but 99 cents dedication that's done i'm on my second pot coffee oh coffee Sweet. gosh i need a i want a coffee pot <clears throat> so i can have coffee whenever i please then get one. Get a drop and get a coffee pot. Because I can't afford soda. And I get sick of tea. I mean, tea's a good caffeine. It's a nice, clean caffeine, but it doesn't compare to coffee. No. I agree. Like, I finished off last night. 
my last sleepy time. It's okay, Miss Mad Duck. I can be forget it. I'm tragically hurt by that. I love sleepy time. Yeah, sleepy time's good. Sleepy time's good. But but this is the culprit from yesterday. Well, he sleeps when I sleep. But <laughs> this is the culprit from yesterday. Yeah, also music gamer, you're right. Just have some water. Yesterday I had the worst case a fibro itch and i was just it was just like in my fingers and it's like if you have like with fibro itch if you ever oh, had TJ a mosquito say, bite you where, that? wherever it is it well. feels like that but intensified and it was all <laughs> over my fingers not a lot of wink at me just, <laughs> just imagine every digit with a mosquito bite yeah it's that's what happens when i get eczema on my fingers it was like a bit and i was like so itchy honey, I can't stand this. Can you find a way how to get me some Benadryl? And he found a way, and he got me some Benadryl. Right, so I am a happy Shannon fuck. for that. I think we all need to take our meds off to this. Me, hunter gatherer, you woman, I get you Benadryl. Yes. Rev me hunter gatherer, work. Hunter gather, actually hunt Rev one and gather. <laughs> That's the worst. I'll find a man. Crap sucks. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Benadryl is the only thing that helps me with that fibro witch. Yeah. It it's because it's just an, uh, and oh, it's it a, drives me nuts. Oh it gets in my my hands, my feet, my CJ, ankles, you're gonna get banned from. Itching, like crazy. You're gonna get sent to the naughty room. Everywhere, and it drives me mad, as it should drive anyone mad. I am silly this morning. I did have good sleep though. I did sleep for like five thirty till. Okay, we woke Nine up at this eight. morning. We woke up at eight o'clock at night. Then we did some shit together and went back to bed at twelve. <laughs> Was it midnight? Yeah. Okay. And then we woke up at nine. So holy shit, how many hours of sleep is that? I don't know, but I feel <clears> good. <throat> yeah, I feel pretty rested. Yeah. Here you go. Better than it used to be. Here you go. But anyway, oh my gosh, randomly ignored. Apologize. Yeah. That's so intense. Uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't get back to you sooner. Uh but I was I was in Dreamland. Yeah. And we didn't really check the phone last night either. No, we just slept. We just slept, rested, and then talked and then went back to bed. Exactly. Oh yeah. We had a couple of sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's right. Well, I'm gonna peace out here. Good morning, everyone. Um, I love you all. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for everyone's kindness. Yeah. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye, guys. Or wonderful. Oh, my God. Eat some air and A wonderful day, not night. Day. Holy shit. Right, this one is... Jason and Shani attack G-Man and call him a thief. What's he doing? You'll see. Yeah, what are you wearing, dude? Oh, what did you say he looked like, Shaw? But what are you wearing? Whoever sees this one, this is a live that you're probably going to remember. I know. It's I'm that not fucked up. crazy in this. But as you can see, I'm kind of dressed up in a certain costume here. Okay. I'm dressed up in a costume because there's somebody in my life, or that was in my life, that appeared to be a benevolent, uh, a benevolent person in my life. It appeared that way. But as we know, what's up, Amy Joy? What's up? Hey, what's up, Bling and Things? Sorry, I'm just watching what my mom's doing out the window. As we know, in this weird, I believe now fully, because... I was just writing in, uh, I called it the Diary of Metatron, okay? What's up? Uh, I called it the Diary of Metatron. Because I'm Metatron, the recorder of God. What's up, 86 Dave? What's up? Um, what is it? Why is he calling I'm it that? I'm trying to embrace fully uh, I don't, the understanding. I don't know why he's calling it, but spirit it is. Where I'm I'm the the night. How are you? I knew how to will it. 
that I could be at the throne room of God right now if I wanted to be. But due to the constraints of this reality we got, we're constrained to three dimensions plus time, which time really is just a persistent illusion. It doesn't really exist. But here we are. And I'm starting to embrace this understanding that really it is a greater role Way too old. that God wants me to step into. You love the jacket? Yeah, thank you, Amy. This is a, a collector's item from the year about 1996 or so. It's a Killer Instinct leather jacket that was given to the to the actual production team of Killer Instinct. And here's the Nintendo logo. I could show it to you. Uh, where? Yeah, there it is. It's like in the negative on the jacket. See, there you go, Nintendo. It's crazy. I love it. But actually, it's time for that to come on. Wait. Okay. I'm committed to Jesus Christ. The one thing that I want you to know about me, because there's a lot of people that probably don't remember me from 2012. Yes. I'm the same guy. <laughs> That's what she said. I look at the world right Hi, now. Emily. How are you? I look at the world right now, and I see a lot of devastation, a lot of... Um, wars and rumors of wars and a lot of crazy stuff going on right now okay the clock's ticking for people that have things in their lives as i smoke a cigarette in front of you a lot of christians would say that's a sin that's fine mm. they smoke in the temple and the priests need smoke in the temple they always had it okay so on my christian walk i meet a man it goes by the name of Gary Lamont Moore in real life. That's his full name. Oh, thank you. On the you. internet, this man is known as G Man. Now, yes, I was living in Colorado. What are you wearing, dude? 2019 time period, say. I don't know. You babe. Love this shirt is Raven, dude. He's my favorite wrestler. Okay, this is the full outfit. If I was wrestling, I'd have the combat on and shit, and I'd be, you know, like that. Okay, that I'm doing this for him. Okay. This is for him. This is exactly how I would look if I was a WWE wrestler and I'd be in Raven's flock and I'd be like the preacher in the flock that believed in Christ. That's me, okay? The, and I was a privileged kid like Raven. Raven's story is that he said fuck you to his family. He was a privileged kid from fucking um, whatever. I can't remember what it's it, like in the New England area. Uh, he's like a privileged kid and he said fuck you to the wealth and he's just like a scumbag. <laughs> That's it. It's fucking Raven. I love him. Anyway, I did this for Gary. Because my message to you, dude, is that you are wanting in the scales of God right now. You are weighed in the balances, and you are found wanting in the eyes of the Creator. Do you know why? Wish that come. Right I was living with my wife and family in Colorado. I need to, I I need to Google who this is. I heard that Gary Lamont Moore was homeless, and I said to myself, and my spirit immediately kicked in. My brain was fucked, but my spirit was still speaking to me, and it said, "Give that house to him." He's a great brother that corrects doctrine with the Hebrew Israelites. He has a good cause there. Oh, I want to see it. Brother. And my, I definitely my wife see it. That. I eventually got all the paperwork done, and the house in Scranton was his, which he ended up selling for upwards of $160,000. Now, you have two people that provided for you, that being me and my wife. We provided shelter for you when you were homeless. We didn't just provide some place for you to be for a week or two. I will. My glasses come off. We didn't provide it for just a week or two. We said, in Christ, our dwelling is now yours. That's what we did, me and my girl. Because we saw a Christian in need, and when there's a Christian in need, you act. And if you don't act, what kind of fucking Christian are you? I know. This is where it comes in and you start talking about people like, let's say, okay, you're going to start saying this is satanic and I love it, okay? Metal has, is bought out for Christ now, if you haven't noticed. Okay? Oh, baby, oh. They're in. That's because Christ went to the streets. He went to the byways and highways out there in metal concerts and shit. He goes to head and corn and goes, hey, buddy, I'm real. 
and heads like, wow, Lord. And he comes to his fucking knees. And now his life is all about Jesus Christ and being baptized and having people baptized. And he's amazing. I got a word for Gary. You want to make this right? Because I do. We are suffering on a level you can't believe right now. We're, we're, we're in a state that, that every month is a struggle to feed ourselves. It's really that point. I want people to understand that we had pure hearts when we gave that to the man, to this man that I'm talking about, Gary Lamont Moore. We were. Thank you, J5524. Of a guy in need. That's a Christ and beat children, God. though. There is no universe that exists, Gary where what happened is okay in the eyes of God. You sold that property for $160,000. I blessed that and it's yours. However, there's property that I want back. And I think this is fair. Everybody and analyze this. I'm calling on Dragnon. I'm calling on Jules. I'm calling on all of you guys, Frank. I'm calling on Frank. Frank, I've been real, real rough to you in the past. I want to let that shit go. I'm sorry that like I've said some really horrible things about you in the deep room and it's like over the top bad shit. So I, I ask for forgiveness from him. Anyway, I want Frank to look at this and analyze this situation. Let me let me put it down for you. Go right for now, it. Jules. Frank. Go for it. Let's put the full fucking picture right in front of you. Because this has been bothering me real bad. Okay, go and for I know it. What this book says about people like Gary? <laughs> Give him his toys this back, G Man. <laughs> the Holy Scripture. <laughs> I know what this book says about people like this. Yeah. He, we had an Ananias and Sapphira thing going when we took the house back from him. Now, he is in the position we were in, and he's failing miserably. If you want to make this right at all, Gary. This is what you said to me. He does sound like Anytime a child. Anytime you want, you just, you whatever. Uh, I'll be in contact with you. You could just, uh, we'll set up a time for you to get your stuff. Yeah. It's time now because I'm. it's been really, really ragging on me. So here, you want to make this right, Gary? Because I know in your spirit's not right. That's why you came to me and you said, oh, it's your, my sister was making me do it. Wait, you, you make anybody, who, who can make you do anything, G? Nobody can make you do anything. People know that about you. You're a stubborn. You're a stubborn. Stop playing with your hair, man. What are you doing? Which told? I'm not saying the bad thing. You're just setting your ways, and that's the way it is with you. So fine. You know in your spirit that you had two people that literally gave you a house for a dollar, and now we're destitute, horribly destitute due to multiple reasons. But I would at least be able to sell that house if I didn't give it to you. And I, me, and her would be in a, we'd be, be in our own apartment, and, and I'd have some resources where I could have a stable job that I could definitely. Uh, not get fired from because of my bipolar. 33 people. God bless y'all in here. What, 23? 23. Sorry, 23. God bless you. Thanks for the hearts. Honestly. You provided. So self You just gave it freely. Did you have us in your house for a little while? Be us ramen noodles until we got, almost were dead? Yeah. Watermelon. Hi, watermelon. I've been literally feeling like in my spirit that this guy needs a spiritual even flow DDT fucking Raven style. I take the I take the fucking steel chair and I smash your fucking face off it spiritually. Spiritually. Even flow one two three in the <laughs> ring. Geez. You're fucking spiritually. Done. I'm gonna start saying that. Here's what I want. I want a bitch like mini so hard. back with the PlayStation spiritually. games. I want my N64 <laughs> back with the N64 EverDrive. I want my Genesis back with the Genesis EverDrive. I want my Shani. Laser, the Star Wars game. Shani wants uh, Jedi Fallen Order back. Shani wants her GameCube back with all the games. Okay? You stole that from us. That's it. Yeah, is it really charity if you can't? This is cool. that. Exactly. You never called me to try and set up a day to come and get stuff. Now's the time. I... Take a list because this is serious for your spirit. If you do this, I, you'll be cool with God because it will it will show that you have a modicum, a little bit of respect, just a little. 
for the two people that kept you off the street and gave you a house and for gave free. you a house for a dollar, which then I returned to you the dollar. Has ever anybody ever talked to you like this, Gary, in your life? I suspect there has been. Oh, you give me a response video for sure, and I'll probably watch that one. And you want to try and equate the stuff that you gave us to a $160,000 house. I'm not a fucking idiot. You gave us fucking pennies in comparison to what you got, and you know it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants Jedi Fallen Order back, and she wants her GameCube with her games. I want my mini PlayStation back with all the PlayStation games. I want my N64 with the EverDrive, and I want my Genesis with the EverDrive, and the NES with the EverDrive, and our Star Wars lightsabers, and our Star yeah. Wars lightsabers, yes. and the lightsabers. Take a fucking list of it, and I want I want you to get your buddy, whoever he is. He did not give him money. It's not a car. car, and you drop it off at the address that you were at. Oh, last. our air fryer. If you have the air fryer, we want that too. You get that guy and you load that shit up into that into his car. You come to this place, you put it on the porch, knock on the door, and leave. You stole our stuff. You have stolen our so much, but at least this, we want at least this back. Star yeah. Wars isn't even that right good of a game. In the eyes of God. <laughs> oh, thieves, sorry if you can hear the drill. You know, real book book, right? that was a great time. Thieves do not inherit no, the kingdom really? of God, period. Can you could you hear that? No, nope. you will have nope. no place in the kingdom of God if you do not do this for my wife who helped you and myself. I mean, that's a threat, right? See, you must repent. Um, you must repent to, to Jesus for your thievery. I'd say that I get, I'm not even asking for the Neo Geo in the games, which is worth probably over $2,500. A Neo Geo with at least 15 games. I'm not even asking for that. I gave that to you in love. Like He was like, oh man, a Neo Geo in the box. This is amazing. Yeah, I got a real good deal on that shit. But that was the most expensive thing I bought. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, buddy. I saw your reaction. It's yours. I'm not even asking for that. Exactly. Give me all my shit or what else. What you did to us is wrong and you know it. When you came here the one time, you should have had fucking $800 in your pocket for us. I'm not a greedy man. No? I'm a man that recognizes injustice. No. The way that you have treated us, the two people that gave you a roof when you were homeless, the way you have treated us is an anathema to Christ. Your knees should be fucking buckling. Oh, my God, he's going to destroy me. Yeah. Neither one of them are going to heaven. I hope they know that. Not only did you take advantage of two people that loved you in Christ, but you spit on them with disgusting videos like these haters that you used to gossip about every second you were with us. Your behavior has been absolutely anathema to Jesus Christ. That's uh, Riv's word of the day. Huh? Look at me, I'm real big, tough as a ring. Yeah, look at me, I'm fucking G-Man. Look at me, I'm such a tough motherfucker. You're a fucking bitch in the eyes of God. Only a fucking bitch exactly. would treat people that gave you a dwelling and you sold for you $160 fucking thousand dollars. You're an anathema to Christ. Yeah, it is. It is, definitely. He wouldn't it's even best. look at you. You do a response to this because I'll see you break in your eyes when you see when you hear these words from my mouth. You know it's true. Yoshi. I'm sorry, but this has been brewing. I feel it in yeah, my backbone. Right in the fucking, I, can, I can literally fucking knock out. A six foot four, two hundred fifty pound guy right now. He so kind of does, doesn't he? So, <laughs> sound like sound. I feel right. like Tyler Durden hit me again. Put fucking laugh at him. Yep, toxic masculinity at its core. That's all you got, fucking loser. 
fucking break your kneecap. I'm done with this bullshit. I don't know if it's apathy, the spirit of apathy. Sorry about that. Mom called. Do you think you were entitled to that $160,000 house, G-Man? Huh? Because if you do feel that way, if you feel like you were entitled to have that house, I sure do wonder why. Guys, I think I'm going to end the video after this one. Um, just because I want to go help my mom with some things before she leaves. But, yeah, we're just going to finish this one. And then we're going to be done. Huh? Is that like your fucking testimony that you found a you found a safe in front of some person's house and you just took it and fucking cracked it because it's mine now? This was done on the twenty fourth of March, so yeah, and really top in you. Safe with money in it. Is that your testimony? Well, that's nice, G. And I would never mind. Thank you. It's been fun getting to see all of you. It was really nice. But I'm not done yet. We still got like ten minutes. Huh? You know you're wrong. You know you're a scumbag. You know you're a piece of fucking trash. You know it. If you were in a kilt, I never. Thought you're not even yeah. Celtic. I, I, I never I thought I would say this I type know. of shit about the guy because I really loved him in my heart as a brother. We had all these cool videos, you know. Oh, come on, Rev, and I'm in the background. Yeah, what's up, brother? You know all this shit, bullshit. Let me farm some fuck yeah. because these people yeah. on TikTok. The money from the house they gave to man. five million fucking hits on her name. Yeah. Did you know that? Go look it up. Search term on TikTok. Rev and shit. We don't even fucking use TikTok. 48.5 million searches. What the fuck is that? And we're destitute. That's a fucking country. We're fucking destitute because we gave. And we gave, and we gave, and then we gave more. We gave Whatever, a, dudes. A you also people, took so much, though. Yeah, anybody that might not like this or might be offended by what you're hearing because you might be a G-Man fan or some shit, I'm sorry. I apologize to you for him. Okay? I will apologize to you for him. I have no to apologize for because I am just a fucking white privileged kid that really does believe in Jesus like a lot. And I like to try and mimic something that he would do if he lived in, in me. I hear a brother that I love deeply that taught great things. Okay. Correction on doctrine to, to men in the street uh, that like to victimize women. Uh, white women. It's a pleasure. Yeah, okay. I wish everybody who celebrates are really uh, good. Doctrine that's just absolutely Easter. It's again, anathema to Jesus. Okay, we don't victimize women. Can you not lift your legs, Rev? You get it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm aerobic as I stand. That's always a good thing. Do you understand what I mean, though? Did you like to donate to me and Shani? Uh, no, Sundays, I think. Huh. There's one person recently that's been giving. And she remembers me from Revelation News Time. And she goes, you want to know why I keep helping you? Because I saw what you did for others when you had it. And you deserve it back. So if you would like to donate to me and Shani, our cash app is cash tag, all caps, ASMR Gaming. That's ours. And we'll probably do something with ASMR Gaming coming in the future. Doubt if it. Have, well, I get some money, then I can get a computer myself. Doubt it. Mic that's cheap. He's recording it in the uncle's house. Amazing USB mics now that sound incredible. Pretty cheap. Yeah, exactly. If you were the night. Exactly. They Howard fucking Stern lost Christian their mind. Okay? I will do the Howard Stern thing, but Christianized. Okay? Where we're cool, we talk about Jesus, we love Jesus, we love prophecy, we look to the sky, wait for him. Revelation News Podcast, baby. Featuring Shani for Christ. Shani. That's it. Revelation News featuring Shani for Christ. I would I hate it. No. I'm going to hate Underneath. it. Reverend Jason E. Groff. Featuring Shani for Christ and Reverend Jason E. Groff. Revelation News Podcast. That's, we're going to do that. And part of she thing, is on something. Like that he's he's uh, that's what we, I want that future. I don't know I what do drugs that. he's doing. If you'd like to but... donate, there's a cash app. Uh, and the Venmo, we have a Venmo, which is my name. It's Jason dash E. Groff. E-G-R-O-F-F. As in father, you can get this in our description. Uh, that's a Venmo. And PayPal, we have a PayPal. And our PayPal is at Gavin Kitcats. And the cat is with a K and a Z. 
Ask Gavin Kit Kat. He's the best boy. Oh my God, here's the boy. Oh, we're going to show the boy because he's so cute. Where's watermelon? Look at how beautiful his eyes are. Isn't he the most handsome, beautiful Kit Kats? You're like Gucci crazy, Rib. Yeah, I got a PayPal. Gavin Kit Kats. I could put it here. Here, thank you, Cap. Cap, thank you. God bless you. At Where's watermelon? Yeah. Hang on. I gotta put the boy down. Sorry, guys. But this is like ridiculous. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees, Lord. Hang on a second. Thank you. I'm. I just thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Ed Jacqueline Cap, Taylor. Cap. I know. Not Jay. Why are we Cap. listening to this man? Cats. Why? Boom. My eyes. Oh my gosh. I interrupt what I see. Your teeth. But you can see the hearts in my post. That's our PayPal. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's our PayPal. There's Raven. My favorite wrestler Yay. of all time. I love, I love to meet Raven in real life. It's my That's first it. hate comment. I had to close it like this. <laughs> Here. Lady, you were just as big as Shani reviewing well, Shani. Put on back crime, and it's fine. Shani and I have been in the paranormal. Thank I'm you. Back. That's crazy. Thank you. Nice to see you having fun. I'm trying. You know, Goose Trolls. This, this was game. very serious in my heart, and I got to get it out. I didn't know I had a pet. Yeah, well. <laughs> we love Gavin too. If you give to that one, we'll probably get him some fish. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I just need a little bit of money, guys. Like, because I want to get a coffee maker. You know. It's a little ironic. A whale making, making a fat joke. We're always in need of food and then uh, drinks hey. because the water here is weird. It's it wasn't really the it's most clever, but I know they say that's a sign of bad. diabetes, but neither one of us are diabetic. And they do pay for attention asking, asking their cat, cat, using their cats. It's, it's wild. Diabetic. So I am famous. I have my own awesome. whale and everything. But it's we really best. did. Shani and I gave of ourselves a, like a lot, guys. And yes, G Man did help us out and you know, he said he was frustrated that neither one of us wanted to work and stuff like that. And that's just not true. We did not want to work. Okay. We wanted to find, I, well, I can speak for myself and Shani is just disabled. Okay. She literally needs like medical care and help. I help her with washing and stuff. She needs a nurse really. But I, I have experience because I, I, the last three years of my mom's life, I was taking care of her in a lot of ways like that. But washing her feet if she needed her feet washed or something like that. You know what I mean? I was doing that with my mom when she was dying of cancer and I didn't even know she had cancer. <laughs> anyway, I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I heard the Lord's call and I didn't want a man to be on the street. And we were pretty mistreated by this man. So I pray that you repent, Gary, and do what I said. Just drop off my stuff. Drop off Just my give stuff, me my stuff, the and the Lord will love you. you. Know place. We're still here, same place. You load up that car, your friend, with the stuff that I said. Take a list. Exactly, down. her brain, brain is exactly in functioning. Functioning, okay, not broken. Shani, no, Shani, Shani's brain is complicit. She knows what she's doing. But until then, exactly, you're a curse to Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Keep looking up. Those with disabilities don't exactly know where. Right. Lovely people. We are going to end it there. Thank you so much for coming out and being with me. Thank you, Zach. For thank you. Thank you everybody for with me. coming in. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and I will see you so soon. And yeah, thank you for being here with me and I hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye. Have a good one.